Out of this refurbished school building on Wichita's west side, Trees for Life works throughout the world, giving people hope and helping solve almost insurmountable problems. Balbir Mather is the force behind the organization, and for years he's been fighting to give voice to those whose lives are desperate. These pictures are from Liberia, a war-torn country in Africa where life is cheap and hope is in tatters. That country's education minister contacted the one group they thought might be able to help. Trees for Life in Wichita, and all they want are used children's picture books. We will be sending 100,000 plus books. If we just simply contributed that, it can help a generation in a country 10,000 miles away from us. In the lag part of the world, most of the kids never get to see a pic picture story book or picture book. Liberia is one of them. In Liberia, they have one book for 27 children, and that's why Trees for Life has organized a book drive called Love in the Attic. They hope to collect used picture books that you might have stored away that can have new life now, helping children on the other side of the world. Personally, I think it, was, it would be a great way to give back and help other children who are less fortunate to be able to read. Those are all little kids. Augusta High School is like many schools across the area that have formed student groups to help collect the books. I decided to join this because I think this is a great cause and that books are like the portal to opening your brain and learning. Here's how you can help. Just go to any Dillon store during the month of February. As you enter the store you will see this Trees for Life book drop. Just take those gently used children's books that you've gotten out of your attic or off your bookshelf. Bring them in put them right here in this box and they will be sent all the way across the world to the country of Liberia where you will be making a difference one child one book at a time. Those books will create the joy and thrill of reading among children. So what we don't, this drive is not for textbooks. This drive is not for political books, not for religious books. It is simply so children may see those pictures and learn. Now most of us take books for granted. They're all around us. But to the children of Liberia, it is a chance at life, a chance to dream, and most of all, to hope. One phone call from the Minister of Education in Liberia appealing for help from Kansans. He said, please help, otherwise a generation will be lost. On the bus, all the bears were talking about the things we're going to do at school. So Our the children bus. have the advantage. We have the books. In Liberia, this simple act of reading cannot be done in most areas. There are no books, and there is little hope. And off they went in the big yellow bus to the bear country school.